I'm Lori English, and I am the handbag designer, maker, sole employee for Recreated. I try to focus on repurposing as much as I possibly can. One of the things that I'm doing the most with right now, and I have for a couple of years, are old feed sacks and, and seed sacks. Like this guy here is probably from the 1950s. I'll take old uniforms and turn them into bags. I'll make a bag out of just about anything. It just If I find something that looks interesting, I'll, I'll give it a try. And then I line things with cargo pants. You see, you got some pants in there. Uh, Love it. <laughs> That's so cool. I can make this into something and it continues to have some kind of little life outside of, you know, a trash can. I feel like I have more ideas than I have time, which is And you have a full-time job. I do have a full-time job. So this is a, a side gig for you. It is. It started with a way to um, kind of travel a journey to be debt-free. I love the old advertising on it. Um, and I love it whenever they have the name of the company and a lot of times you'll go look them up and they don't exist anymore. The reason I know some of the history on some of the bags is because when I get them in, they still have their original little oh, look at tag. That. So you can see this one, the, the date that they tested the seed that was in the bag was January of 1965. And so this is how I was starting to be able to date these bags. And at the time they were using, um, starting in the 1940s or so, they were using cotton for flour and sugar and everything. They figured out that women were um, taking the, the, the sacks and they would try to remove all the ink so that they could reuse them. And can you see here, they actually started printing directions on how to remove the ink from the bags. In the 40s, the flour sacks that they would use, they just straight up used something printed that someone could make into clothing, because that's what people did. They used everything, which we don't do that anymore. So if you think about, first of all, how old these things are, let me move that guy out of the way, how old they are to be, 78 years old someone took care of these yeah someone will be looking at a bag and i'll say oh yes well this is all um seed sack material most of it from a company called northrop king from the 1960s they're mm. like wow that's so cool and i'll say and then if you look inside i line them with cargo pants they're like oh my gosh pants <laughs> <laughs> and then i'm like but this part's 50 years old <laughs> This might be two years old, uh -huh. but for some reason, they always react that way. I did. Wow, pants! <laughs> so anyway, it, it always cracks me up. I'm yeah. like, but that's like 50 years old. For me, it's a way to sort of keep some history around. It's um, incredibly humbling when someone wants to purchase something you made. Which one does my wife want <laughs> me to bring home? <laughs>